Mr. Jellong, thank you for meeting us. So, how do you think you did in the fight? I mean, man, I'm just like, I managed the fight. I just make sure, you know, people are in places to do the fights. It's... All right, all right. All right. Well, how do you think that your partners did? Do you see these shades, man? Look at me, I'm the chillest dude in the room. Hey, great, that's perfect. All right, do you have any comments about uh, you getting negated? Dude, like, if I get stopped, the others pick it up. It's all good, man. That's fair, and do you have any more comments about needing to add anything? Dude, all I do is add to the roster. You gotta do the signings, you know what I mean? I'm like Paul but not with a vec. Well, that that about answers most of our questions. The only thing we have left, do you think you can do it? Do you think you can go all the way and win it all? I'm willing to stake my soul on it, man. Lads, I haven't done this deck profile in a hot minute, but I love this deck. I have so much fun playing this deck. And just letting you know, before we get started, that we do have a Discord, which there should be a link for in the description down below. So come on in and check it out and say hey. But it's Vanquish Soul, baby! So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're starting off with three copies of Vanquish Soul Raisin. This lets you search the whole deck. It also can pop uh, for any Vanquish Soul, but it also can, uh, can prevent itself from being destroyed or destroy all the monsters in the column. Raisin's really good. So we're doing the level fours first. So we got two copies of Mad Love, which will let you search for a spell trap, uh, as well as being able to change attack and defense points uh, or bounce a card with the weak lowest defense points. Then we got one copy of Pantera. Uh, Pantera being the earth, it's a special summon. So if you have this in your opening hand, there's a lot of times where like this comes up as a, I'm gonna special this so I can normal summon, let's say Mad Love to add, so I can make Dempsey to make, uh, to search Raisin. So you could do these two to kind of help get you through your plays. For the big guys, we're playing two copies of Jow Long. This is here because it's an additional special summon and you're able to use it to search very often for any Vanquish Soul card, which is super impactful. Two copies of Heavy Borger. Uh, this card is your winning condition in time because you can burn for 15. Um, you can burn for a lot, actually. You can use this burn for 15, punch for 25, burn for 15 during their turn, and you're just really uh, ahead. But it also lets you draw cards by revealing a dark, which is really nice. And then one copy of Caesar Valius. It's the big daddy boss monster of the deck. Uh, it's a non-targeting destruction effect. It can protect itself from being destroyed by card effect. Play three copies of Stake Your Soul. Uh, this, just by revealing a monster, you get to summon a, a Vanquish Soul monster with a different name with the same attribute as the card you revealed. So Fire, Earth, or Dark. Typically, you're going to go for Fire or Dark, but it is an option to go for Earth. Uh, and then we're playing one copy of Continue and one copy of uh, Snow Devil. Continue is the monster reborn. Snow Devil is special from hand, burn for four, protect your monsters from destruction effects, and then burn for, what, six? And then burn for eight and nuke the field. But because your Vanquish Soul monsters are protected, nothing really happens to you. It's a crazy cool effect. That's the Vanquish Soul package, it's not very big. Next up, we're playing the, these are the supplemental cards before we get into the going second cards. So the supplemental cards will be two copies of Prada Prosperity and two copies of Durendal. Uh, these let you dig through your deck, search for Raisin, search for whatever you're missing. Uh, super versatile, super useful. And in cards that can continue that trend, uh, we have Rhoda that searches for Raisin, Feather Duster, which deals with problems, and Talent that deals with problems. So you've got all these cards that can help you deal with whatever is going on. Um, and just, this is, this is all I could fit. Because I wanted a lot of cards that allowed me to play the game going second. Let's get into the list. Starting off with three copies of Ash. It's a fire, so it matters a lot. Three copies of Shifter. Because it doesn't matter, you could play around this card real easily. This card does almost nothing to your deck. Three copies of Nib. It's really good in the format, but also with Shifter, it's really funny. Three copies of Imperm, because it matters. Three copies of Fenrir, which is actually really good, especially for something like the Tempai Dragons. Because this is a battle phase effect, being able to banish face down really strong, and then it's got its negate, which is really, like its banish face down effect, are both really good effects. So your opponent has to basically like deal with a Fenrir, and Fenrir control is just a real threat. And especially in a deck that plays as much non-engine as this deck does. Uh, one Rise Heart, it's a fire that's searchable off of the Fenrirs, and one Kurikara, because it's a fire that also tributes the board and allows us to go second. 
Uh, that does it for the main deck. In the extra deck, playing two rock. It's the most common card you're gonna go into in the extra deck aside from one other card. But rock is really, really good. Being able to summon from the hand is really strong. Being able to add from the graveyard is really strong. Uh, because in instances, you can go like Rock of the Vanqu- You can go Raisin, Search, Borger. Let's say Borger, okay? Just off of one card, you go Borger. You link this off, you make Rock. Rock, re-add Raisin. During your opponent's turn, you get to summon Raisin off of Rock. And who cares? Let's say Mad Love just for shiggles and giggles. You can summon Borger by bouncing Raisin and then reveal it and draw a card. And now you're up one unknown and two knowns in the hand. But that's just off of like just one small interaction and it never it also allows you to do all that and then still have d shifter in hand to be like okay d shifter during my opponent's turn now because i've set up my board the way i want it now i'm able to just d shifter and lock them out of the game uh, which is really just in incredibly strong so rock have to play it i think two is perfect uh we are playing one hito one dark these are just here because there's fire and dark decks that are really prevalent in the format. So you want to be able to have things that help you. Dark is always a good one, but Heat is really strong. Uh, we're playing one Unicorn, one Black Luster Soldier, and one Selene. Uh, unicorn to spin, Black Luster because you can make it really hard to deal with, especially with a million hand traps. And Selene to make access code talker because you could bring back... Uh, one specific card, actually. Dimension Shifter, hooray! It's a card that's more than just in the hand. For the rank fours, we're playing Dempsey to Surge Raisin, uh, 41 Baguska to deal with problems, Dweller to prevent graveyard decks, and then we're playing Jokinine and Borbo for Zeus. Playing the Zeus line because you can actually make it pretty efficiently in this deck, which is hilarious. And then one Typhon because you only really have two monsters in the whole two or three that are over 3000 so you don't care that does it for my vanquish soul deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash that like button don't forget to join the discord and all that other good stuff and until next time lads good fun have luck